Right, good evening everybody. Good evening from where you're watching me. We are happy to be here again. It's another Wednesday worship. And tonight I have the privilege to have some of my sisters with me here <laughs> who have decided to join us and also worship with us. So thank you so much. We have Alexandrine Samba Hello. and we also have Enrique Nsongi who are here. And we'll just enjoy this moment with you. I believe that the Spirit of God is here. Amen. And we are all one. We are all united with God. So if you're here and you're ready for the Lord tonight, just say, Lord, I am ready for you. Amen. Invite others to join us now because we believe that we will get a special touch Amen. from the Lord. And God is about to bless somebody tonight. Amen. And just open up your heart and say, Lord, here I am to worship you. And I just want to encourage someone who has lost faith, who has lost belief in what God is able to do. As the Bible tells us in the book of John, chapter 20, verse 28, it says, Thomas said to him, my Lord and my God. Then Jesus told him, because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. So I want to encourage you tonight and to say, Lord, I believe in you. I believe in your power. I believe in your touch. And therefore, I am here, O oh God, for you. I'm here, oh Father God, because I know that you are Lord. Come on, just raise up your voices where you are and start worshiping the Lord and say, Lord, I'm here for you and you alone, oh God. I am here just because you are God and I want to lift up your name. I want to worship you, oh God. I want to call, oh Lord Jesus, upon your name, your mighty name, oh Lord Jesus. Yes, Father God. Yes, Lord Jesus Christ. You are King, oh Lord Jesus. And you are so highly exalted. Your glory is in heaven above. Come on, say humbly you came. To the earth you created. All for love's sake, because you love me. Here I am to
And as we call upon his name, he reveals himself. And as we call upon his name, he shows up. I want to want someone to call upon your name because there is no other name above the name of Jesus. There is no other name that can stand. There is no other name that can keep us together. And the word of God says in the book of Proverbs that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. And the righteous run in and they are safe. Whatever you need, whatever you want, whatever you're expecting from from the Lord, just call upon His name. If you need clarity on something tonight, just call upon the name of Jesus. If you want God to reveal Himself over your life, just call upon His name. For nothing compares to His name. Nothing is more powerful than His name. Yes, Jesus, we call upon Your name, oh Jesus. Yes, Jesus, we call upon Your name, oh God. Yes, God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Your name is beautiful, Lord. For you didn't want heaven without us. So, Jesus, you brought heaven down. Yes, Lord. My sin was great, your love was greater. Oh, I can't stop. Say, Lord, your name is the name above all names. That could not hold you, oh God. Oh, yes, Lord. The veil tore me for you, Lord. Yes. The heavens are roaring. The praise of your glory.
Say your name is strength, oh God. Your name is power, oh God. And there is no one like you, oh Father God. And you want to declare that, oh Lord, for your name, oh Lord, is excellent, oh God. Yes, Jesus. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. If you know it, say it with me. How excellent is your name. Your name is strength. Your name is power. You're a strong tower. You're a strong tower. You make me say. Make me say. Say oh Lord. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. How excellent. How excellent is your name. Is your name. Your name is your strength.
forever oh God and we'll worship you forever Lord Jesus and I would like us to just read the scripture the last scripture as we are closing in the book of Psalms chapter 34 verse 1 it says I will bless the Lord at all times his praise will always be on my lips his praise will always be on my lips no matter what may the praise of the Lord always be on your lips do not forget who God is. Do not forget where God has taken you from. Amen. But no matter what the circumstance, whether it shakes you, whether it moves you, one thing that you need to keep doing is keep on praising, Amen. keep on worshiping Amen. God, keep on loving God. Amen. And as I always say, keep the fire burning. Let's keep on worshiping the Lord. Let's keep on magnifying His name and let's keep on spreading His word because there is someone who needs God tonight. Amen. And I will encourage everyone to just continue to lift up the name of the Lord. Amen. And Alexandrine and Enrique, may God bless you so much. Amen. Thank you for joining me tonight as well as you, the people of God, where you are. Amen. Keep well, stay safe, and God bless you. Until next time.